I am Nandita Varani. Today, I am going to talk about our work entitled Diversity India Meets Pioneering Citizen Science Through Collaborative Data Mobilization. Diversity India is a virtual platform which is playing an instrumental role in popularizing citizen science actions in India. So, before going to the main topic, I would like to say briefly about what is citizen science. Citizen science is nothing but a data collection by involving non-professional volunteers in scientific research. It is a way for people to join from various backgrounds and can do scientific research. It is an inclusive idea where practicing science is not only restricted to trained scientists, but it is also for the people who are passionate about a subject which is not their prime subject. So the aim of citizen science is to make a sense among the people about their surroundings. And the another important part is to getting people to be hands-on with data. As we are not much aware about how to handle data, how to document data and how to analyze it. So it is a most important part in citizen science is to be hands-on with data. As it deals with real problems, so citizen science can provide a high quality of data and it also directly engages people with environmental issues and the environment where they are living. So now coming to the main part, the Diversity India, as I said before, Diversity India is a, a virtual platform uh, which is playing as a citizen science initiative in India. So that this Diversity India platform is founded in 2001 and uh, it uh, founded as a Butterfly India Yahoo group. And after that, it has expanded into various taxonomic groups. It basically focuses on laser known taxonomic groups like uh, beetles, moths, spiders, butterfly, odonates. And uh, when that butterfly Yahoo group was created, the um, uh, uh, people from various backgrounds, from various communities were started to join that group who are passionate about uh, butterfly. And uh, what happened that day by day, the discussion were becoming very uh, enthusiastic and interesting. So they were planned to uh, shape it into a different manner. So what they did, they uh, agreed to meet in field uh, to explore and to observe butterflies in a much holistic manner along with other associated taxa. So finally, the Butterfly India Meet, which was held in 2004 at Shendarni, Kerala, and that was the first meet happened in India. Uh, after that, there are many more meets uh, focusing on that particular taxa, well, uh, has been held annually at different locations in different seasons. So this pioneering concept gained a lot of success and got an immense popularity. And the participation of those meets were very surprising and very diverse. Uh, so by following that group, Dragonfly India, Spider India group were also established with similar objectives. And the people of those groups were also started to organize uh, meets focusing on Dragonfly and Spider as well. So these are the locations of all meets which we have covered as so far. Uh, so we have tried to cover from uh, Northeast India to Northwest India, from uh, Kerala to uh, Himachal Pradesh. So while we are uh, organizing those meets, focusing on particular taxonomic group, uh, one thing that came to our mind, uh, if we could uh, incorporate various types of various taxonom various taxa in one meet that could give a better uh, uh, way to understand our preference so uh, and it also could give a better understanding about the interactions between species the interactions between each taxonomy groups their niches 
their uh, the pre prey predator re relationships of a uh, habitat so in light of these the first diversity india meet which was held in a very uh, unique habitat in india which is sundarban uh, and that meet was held in april 2022 and the participations of that meet is very exciting and this meet is marked as a milestone because the it comprises the information of most of the taxonomy groups which we have observed on that even like we observed reptiles we observed uh, uh, mammals we observed uh, mammals like cheetah wild pig and we observed uh, insects we observed many mollusks also so as per uh, we could get to organize 24 meets with 500 plus participation and till now uh, eight to nine data sets uh, were published in gbif so according to the uh, published data sets there are 1663 records we could gather with uh, 859 taxa uh, so as these the all the meets were happening from 2004 so the results of those meets is in very scattered conditions so we are trying to retrieve all the data of each meets and we are trying to publish a um, data sets of each meets at our best the challenges we face during organizing those meets like unavailability of fund uh, as india is a mega diversity zone mega diversity country with huge land mass and it is very hard to uh, observe to explore each and every corner uh, by our personal funding uh, so uh, the and also for the limitation of logistic cost sometimes we fail to Uh, organize meets in uh, th that uh, that kind of uh, region which is very known for it, its biodiversity so these are all the challenges these are all the limitations uh, we faced during organizing uh, our meets and other than diversity india meets there are uh, also many events like city nature challenge we which is a um, international event nowadays this event is also taking a um, part as a citizen city nature citizen science initiative in india uh, so uh, recently in 2023 the 34 cities were registered and the observations were very good and other than city nature challenge other than diversity india meets there are events like national moth week spider week uh, biodiversity marathon big butterfly month which are also playing a very uh, important role in promotion of citizen citizen science initiative so before finishing my talk i would like to acknowledge my co-authors and to all the organizing partners who are organizing uh, who are trying to organize meets in every year and special thanks to the members of nature mess nature club and that uh, butterfly photo which is taken in uh, a meet which was held in northern west bengal so that is all about our work thank you is nandita online so we can take questions if anyone has questions for nandita Yes, please. She's not online. Okay, Vijay here can answer the question. In this case, Vijay, it's just a suggestion. How do you get people interested in making observations outside biodiversity-rich areas? There was a program instituted by CSIRO in Australia, 
some years ago called Millipede Mayhem. And it asked people across Australia to look for and collect Portuguese millipedes. They are an introduced and invasive species. They're not native, and they, in fact, displace some natives. But the result was fantastic. Kids, adults from all over Australia sent in specimens and records. The result was a distribution map that was up to date, citizen science participation, and it allowed CSIRO to improve the environmental model they were using to decide where else could this millipede go. So you don't only have to look for nature, you know, you can also look for invasive species, which are probably going to be abundant in cities. Yes, so to answer that question, we have been um, uh, participating in the City Nature Challenge, which uh, uh, we had a really good participation this year across across India, where we do that event in May for a weekend every year. It started as a city nature challenge between Los Angeles and uh, San Francisco initially uh, several years back, but now it's it's global. So we do that. We also participate in the National Moth Week, which is a week long moth documentation program. We have a India specific. Uh, not not really India specific now South Asia specific big butterfly month so uh, for last four years whole of the month of September there are people doing a lot of butterfly surveys and putting data on iNaturalist and India Biodiversity Portal and certain portals so yeah we are doing uh, different initiatives in this in this paper we were just mainly talking about all these data that 20 years we have been doing these meets but Data was not posted anywhere because I naturalist and other things were not available there. Now we are for this particular project, we are digging up all those old records, contacting all the people who actually attended, asking them for their checklist created that time and synthesizing and actually publishing them as data sets on GBIF. So that is a slightly different approach that we are trying to dig for the historical data that is what we wanted to present here but yeah we do participate in most of the national and international uh, events of biodiversity documentation well, i'm from osaka japan and uh, osaka is another metropolitan area in japan so we, we don't have a much rich biodiversity in this town area but uh, we are operating as uh, many citizen science program using uh, invasive species just beginning of the invasive uh, period so that they can track the expansion of its distribution uh, that will be very uh, well stimulative for children and uh, not only for children but adults so that, th that it can be or they're using uh, some uh, supermarket local foods to know biodiversity it can be something for biodiversity program just that in comment. Okay, we are actually we actually have two more minutes before the next talks. If anyone wants to give comments or questions, uh, thank you for that very interesting talk uh, have you guys worked with uh, local school teachers especially biology teachers in a way that they train the trainers so that they can teach uh, and then spread the word about citizen science activities among students yes so in a in a limited way we have we have started it a few years back uh, we have pretty active so uh, during big butterfly month it is pretty actively promoted uh, throughout the schools also national moth week has been observed in a lot of schools so yes we are working with uh, a su substantial number of school teachers to promote um, citizen science activities a across india i would say because i think uh, in moth week we had only two states out of 30 states in India who for, from which we could not find participation. All other states we had good amount of records coming in. So, Okay. 
Okay, so let's uh, move to the next talk.